Good morning, fellow Ugandans. I'm known by the name Saroma Patrick, a legal professional, a human rights activist, a community developer. Um, Ugandans, today I would like to appreciate, thank, and applaud NRM members of parliament for boldly rejecting President Museveni's plot to scrap bail from the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. As you all know, under Article 26, bail is a constitutional right. Um, I strongly believe that the NRA members of parliament have learned from our history. Of the most recent has been the Honorable Amama Mbaba Zikest, who pushed very hard the Public Order Management Act and the interception of the communication laws into parliament. But he ended up becoming a victim. The same thing happened to Grace Bingira and many others. On top of that, the NRA members of parliament must not accept to be fully regimented into the militaristic ideology because NRA must never transform from a quasi-military dictatorship to a civilian authority. Never. You know? All the actions of government points to the fact that it is still a military government. The executive or cabinet is run in a military-like fashion, you know? And the executive cannot question the appointing authority in any way. Therefore, the only remaining two arms of government, the judiciary and parliament, is at very high risk of being regimented into a military ideology and to accept a military command. Recently, when His Lordship, the Chief Justice of Uganda, informed President Museveni that he is the last appellate court of this country, which is unconstitutional because under Article 129B of the 1995 Constitution, President Museveni is not recognized as one of the courts of judicature in Uganda. But Mr. Museveni smiled. He was very happy. That shows you the, his desires to usurp all the powers of the state in Uganda. Therefore, members of parliament should stand firm, stand firm on this issue of bail. Defend the constitution. Right now, parliament is under attack. The arrest of oh, and rearrest of Honorable Alan Sewanyana and uh, Muhammad Segirinya is a direct attack on the institution of parliament. Look at the brutal manner in which they, are, they were arrested. Look at how they are, they are being humiliated. Look at how they were tortured. Yesterday they appeared in massacre when they were limping. Eh? It's sad that a member of parliament is tortured and humiliated and all members of parliament keep quiet. No, 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 no. NRM members of parliament should join the opposition in condemning this act of torture against members of parliament. Please, it's unacceptable. Therefore, I appeal to the members of parliament that um, 
in case President Museveni chooses the path of a referendum, this time people should unite with one voice and give him the blow he has never seen. You know, the constitution, for us who believes in the constitution, really, and please, members of parliament, don't accept to be bribed. Why should you accept bribery? You are any personally, as Patrick Aroma. I work on foot. I don't own a vehicle. You know? But I cannot accept to be bribed because I believe in the constitution of this country. I believe in the good values of this country. You know? Why must a member of parliament be bribed to overthrow the constitution? It was done in 2005 it, for the term limits and the age limits. And again, now the bail. Why must you be bribed to overthrow, to be a party to the constitutional coup of this country? Why don't you work for this country? I appeal to you to reject bribery. Bail is a constitutional right. Bail is for everyone. Thank you. My next article on Sunday.